Welcome to Home Team Advantage. I'm Gary Gimbetti along with Mike Egan. And uh, Good story, got our names right. Yes, that's mm -hmm. the best thing. See, he's picking on me again. Whoever had brought that up last week, uh, thank you. But he's always picking on me. <laughs> What's the name of our show? Home Team Advantage. That's right. Been very, very good to me. Did I say that wrong? <laughs> or <laughs> very, Here's a good off chance I did. I'm not going to deny that. I'm certainly not perfect, but... Damn near. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had different names, though, we were trying to pick before we started the show, and none of mine were any Big good. Names? And any, and we're good. So, oh. you know, I was looking at 10 minute this misconduct or <laughs> something like that, the five minute major. I thought it was inappropriate, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> but, you know, Miss Q. Well, we said it on, but yeah, type? we should call ourselves the cue balls. <laughs> We're the cue ball, all right. Got an IQ of an IQ ball. <laughs> Some days it feels like that. That's right. Yeah. So when we put our heads together, it's it's loud. <laughs> <laughs> so problem is, I got three holes. I just don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, you know, I just hope, you know, I don't know why this came up, but uh, I hope you enjoy it when we come on every once a week. I hope we brighten your day up a little bit, so. Yes, brought to you by, oh, no caribou coffee. No, crickets. Uh -oh. We're, we're, we're oh, crickets. Pull that sponsorship off the air, <laughs> just like all oh, those. I have my cup out. In the, just like all those female the announcers you're talking about. <laughs> Who, would they get rid of? No, uh, we'll talk about that. Okay. <laughs> but let's, um, obviously we usually start with high school. I, hey. The second, or third day in a row. Hey, I got a oh, fourth I, day in a row with the sun. I was going to say, top of the top story of the day, the sun's out. <laughs> yeah. It's actually warm out. It is. So at spring, it looks like, has finally arrived in northern Minnesota. Till tomorrow. So we'll see. Yeah, I don't even say that because I I've heard it's supposed to be nice out all week. So How about all those guys that want to go to the opener and they got it. Ice is still on the water. Oh, is that this weekend? No, it's next. It's or is it next weekend? Mother's Day weekend. Okay, so it's this week. Th this weekend. Thank you, Ron. So Mother's Day is this Sunday. Yep. And so is the opening. I think it's the weekend. I think the, well, I think the week after. I think Mother's it's Day? the week after Mother's. Sometimes they mm -hmm. fall on the same day, but that had to save a lot of marriages. Yeah. So, but yeah, good luck to the fishermen. Yeah. When they get out there, hopefully they'll have be able to use their boats. Otherwise, they'll take their skidoos out there. And, yeah. <laughs> Troll. They probably got pontoons on their ice houses right now. Saturday the 14th. All right, so Saturday opening the is the 14th. You got a whole week of warm weather. So hopefully your ice is off the lakes and uh, you, you don't have to troll with a mm -hmm. snowmobile. Well, let's hope, too, that the water level is up, you know, with, after that little drought we had last year. No, I've, I've heard like that it's not. I'd, I have it on good faith that uh, the, it's what we had this Best. winter yeah. and what we had rain. Was it not enough? was enough, more than enough to bring the water levels oh, up. And that's from somebody who does fish. Okay. So That's not neither one of us. No, no, no. Oh. So I'm, a, I'm assuming <laughs> that he's right. You ever seen Gary go fishing? Hey, producer, director, pay attention, will you? <laughs> <laughs> you ever see him go fishing? I can yeah, hardly fish. wait to hear what <laughs> this is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. That's that caribou coffee. Yeah, it keeps me warm while I'm out on that frozen lake. We only fish when it's 80 degrees out. Yeah. When it melts but, the you ice. know, golf courses, hopefully. Hopefully, the Havasabi Country Club, hopefully, will be there. I think they're hoping they're going to be open this weekend, but if, and if they do, they can't drive carts. Is that correct? Oh, I don't know. I haven't heard that part. <clears throat> of it, so. okay. I heard next week, I heard the 10th. So I, whenever that 10th is, it's right. the 5th today. So, hey, that's five more days according to my heavy math. So and let's say we got rain, snow, sunshine, rain, snow. Well, they might be ready. They might be ready. <laughs> I heard it came through good, pretty well, though. So <laughs> good. I hope that, you know, good. greens are good. And the course is always in good shape. They, they, they good maintenance. Uh, oh, good yeah, they have a real there. good maintenance crew there. So <clears throat> more power to them. They got... I mean, they were concerned about the ice on the greens, the greens. because we had the rain and right. then we had snow and then warm. And well, we never really had warm, did we? Not yet during the winter. But I guess it came through okay. There was just a crust, some crust of ice on some greens. But okay. Well, so what happened to uh, 
our baseball coverage that you started with. Then you went on this tangent. Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Where do you want to start with? Um, nice girls school. softball. All right. You mentioned that uh, our pitcher pitched a no-hitter through five innings. Perfect game through perfect, five. Uh, perfect mean, game. Wow. Mean, yeah, Hibby beat Marshall 10-0. to Ani Bolvin had a, had a perfect game. Struck out, I think, maybe 10 or 11. So were they polar then or a game off no, by No, off by 10 run rule. Okay. So that was it. They uh, had played Duluth East and beat Duluth East 14 to 4, which is a cop. Well, I, you know, to me, that's an accomplishment because it's East. Yeah. I mean, it's a 4 A school and right. it's, they're usually decent in softball. So that's a great win. They uh, took third place in that iron. I don't know why, if it was an IRC tournament, I don't know why they were in that last Friday because we're really not in the Iron Range Conference anymore, yeah. but maybe we are in softball. Well, I, think, I think they're at that point now where everything they get a game, they're going to get a game, you know, just to get ready for the playoffs and see what happens at the end of the year. But the way the weather is, you got to take it while you can, right? Well, and that, and that was over. Their first game was in Greenway, and they beat Greenway say seven to two or something I can't remember it's been that long ago it's only been four or five days but I can't remember <laughs> so is uh, Nashua considered the uh, they're always a powerhouse when it comes to well Greenway time. last year it was 25 <clears throat> and zero and went to the state tournament oh wow so yeah that was a you know they lost they've lost three players from that team but you know they still have a lot of returners, so that was a nice win. But then they went over to Grand Rapids to play Evelyn Gilbert, and that uh, Lydia Delich just shut them down. Hmm. So they had one good game, one, one, one not so good game, yeah. and uh, then they played Chisholm and beat Chisholm to finish third good. in the tournament. So that was that's been their week since we uh, last met here. Uh, baseball, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't comment on baseball because I don't ever hear anything. Oh, I thought you weren't allowed to go to the fields anymore. I don't know why. <laughs> why is that? What did I do? <laughs> Tell me what I did. <laughs> you didn't report on it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. I know they had a game with Rapids. I, they had a couple games in Duluth, I believe, when it was, oh, I can, can't imagine the games they played in Donna uh -huh. Wade with the yeah. east wind off the lake. <clears throat> Okay, well, we think they lost. We think they lost in Grand Rapids, but I don't know about the games in Duluth. I know they played Marshall down there, and I, I can't. And they might have played Denfeld one of these times, but that East Wind off the lake at Wade oh, Stadium, yeah. oh my goodness! <laughs> well, let's hope again that they can get some games in, and uh, I'm sure they're tired of practicing in the gym yeah. out on the parking lot. Well, I hope. <laughs> <clears throat> I had this conversation at the AD's office the other day. I don't know if they're on the field yet. Oh, wow. I, I, I know there was a bunch of cars at the Lincoln when I left tennis last night. And it's like, why aren't they on Bennett Park? I'm sorry, it's a baseball field. Get it ready. Yeah. It's, not a, it's not a cathedral made of gold. <laughs> you know, it's a baseball field. It, it needs to be taken care of. I get it. But get out there and, and rake it and whatever they do on the machines. Can't think of the word right now, but. Well, but in defense of the park and rec. <laughs> we don't want them mad at you. Well, I, well and I'm I, not getting on that. Seriously, I think, they, I think the crew that they have working for the park and rec, the, the years of experience they have and the guys that are working there, Mr. Lamper and that crew, the guy, they do a great job on that field. We need another baseball field well, in this town. Now you're going to have VFW, Legion, High School, and the, the uh, city team are all going to be playing on one field. And gonna, it, it's tough to keep keep it maintained mm -hmm. where it's playable. But And I think they do a good job. But like you said, too, if the snow's gone, let's get it ready. <laughs> get the infield dragged so yep. it can dry out. The frost can come out of it. Yep. I get the outfield's going to be a little bit damp. I mean, it's... Yep. Yeah, nothing wrong with playing a little game with your waiters on, right? No, that's all right. There's, yeah, don't, you don't, you Can you see the outfield running with waiters on? <laughs> <laughs> but that's where, see, that's where the turf comes in. And yeah. I, you know, I've, I think I've told you, I've heard rumors they want a turf Nyberg field. Yeah. But they should also put another 
like you've talked about out by the football field, they should uh, put another baseball field out there. Speaking of that, uh, at our school board meeting last night, Tyler Glad, head of maintenance or super head of maintenance or whatever, whatever yeah, his job yeah. is, he does a really good job at it. But anyway, <laughs> August first, football field will be ready. Ready. Are they already? They have you been out there? there this fall? Have they been? I drove by the other. No, they're not. They're waiting you know, again for the weather to allow them to get on there. But now it's just a matter of grooming and getting the turf down and a little cosmetic, you know, stuff here and there, and and then the track would be will be ready. So this fall they will be playing football at that on the field. So that's really good news. Yeah, it is. You know, and then the early childhood uh, building over at the Washington be ready in June. And that's going to be a great addition. And just for the public knowledge, if you ever get a chance to go, go take a look at it because their, their gym and their common area that they're going to have is going to be available to the public to sign up to use. So if you've got a big birthday party or a graduation or something, mm -hmm. and, you know, it's a place to look at. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for the updates. Yep. That's all positive. Yep. Now, again, baseball, I can't tell you, I don't know. Track, had a meet in Superior the other night, according to Coach Please. They uh, didn't have a timing company doing the meet, so they did it all by hand, so there oh. were no results. <laughs> Boy, that's a surprise, yeah. <laughs> Do, timing it by hand, by stopwatch, and there's no results. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> you just see them at the end of the finish line. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would say something, but I'm gonna keep my mouth shut about that because the track meet was in Superior. So. Well, the, the new field, over, that new track they have over there that was built what two years ago? Yeah, I don't know. Ago? Do they? Yeah, you know better than I would yeah. on that one. But you would think they'd have a better timing system and yeah. get stuff out on the on the web or on the well the Let's web. Just do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah, it's all right. Just do it that you way. You gotta get one of those ticker tape things in your office so they can. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's nice because they get this. The other meets they've had, Wyzetta timing has been on there and it gives you actually live results. Oh, wow. While the race is going on, you can see, you know, well, you can't see the runners, obviously, but right. you can see you once they finish, oh. it comes across and stuff like that. How's but, our pole vaulter doing? Uh, she's doing okay, but she got beat. I think she placed fifth down at the Hamlin Elite Meet, uh, which is like, I mean, where is she? Oh, she hasn't been able to get outside to plant, the, you know, get get her pole vault pole yep. planted. I mean, she's so she's she's behind. Serena said they're all behind. They yeah, shot up. Yeah, so hopefully they do. And yep. you know, she. I think, I know. I think she's cleared eleven six this year, but I. I got to have a feeling that her sights are a little bit higher than 11.6. Nice. So good, yeah. So hopefully Julia will get caught up. Uh, tennis just beat Cloquet last night, 7 0. They lost to Hermantown, 5 to 2. Was that played here? Yeah, that was here. And uh, I think they go to Grand Rapids today. Huh. Um, I'm not sure what else is going on today. I should know. You can I'm, always tell the pole vaulter on a track team, though. They're standing out in the middle of the field going. <laughs> Checking the wind. Checking out. the wind. Golfers actually, I believe, got out to play. I mean, I think they played yesterday, and Are I think they Florida? played Tuesday. Um, I know a couple courses opened up. I think Virginia opened up <clears throat> Wednesday, and I'm not sure about Giants Ridge. but. Okay. So th thank goodness for them, because that's that's like a two week season for them. Yeah, the way the weather's been. So and, it's, you know, and then it, the talk is are thinking about moving it to a fall sport, but then that'll interfere with you know football and other things that happen during the fall. So yeah, I, there it's a no win situation. Yeah. Uh oh. For times. There's your schedule. All right, what do we got? What do we have today? You know, we're like we got him to cover our butt every day. I know. Yeah, you know. Oh, tennis is a scrimmage over in Grand Rapids. Yeah, because I knew they had already kind of played them twice already. Um, looks like a lot of junior high stuff, more or less. Do you have some music you can play while he's reading that? Da, da, da. Yeah, I know. There's, well, the baseball team actually does play Rock Ridge today over in Virginia. Oh, good. Oh, it's, again, uh, I know Mr. Ronnie's probably not listening, but congratulations, Spencer Ronnie, 
the new yeah. basketball coach over at Virginia. Yeah, new Good race coach, yep. yes. So congratulations to him. To the, in the Ani family. Basketball doesn't get too far from that family. No. <laughs> um, college, <clears throat> baseball, swept Masabi Range the other day. They were in Thief swept. River Falls. Swept. Oh, swept. I thought you said swept. Sorry, I'll, pr I'll pronounce my T's. Here, you use mine? Yeah. <laughs> Fix my teeth. Um, hey, hey, he's picking on me. Yeah. They have, uh, with, with the lack of games they've had, they're having a tournament this weekend for their Northern Division, and the top three will advance to regions, I believe. Oh, wow. So hopefully they can get out of there. Softball hasn't, I... They've been a little bit, I have a tougher year. I don't know how they're doing. I don't hear from their coach either. So it's hard to say. I mean, I love to talk sports, but. How many bridges did you burn? I don't know. Quite a few, evidently. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we want to. They can't complain that you don't cover them if they don't call you and tell well, you what's going on. That's right. right. I, I can't <clears> guess. You're only sports. one guy. You can't go, you can't be everywhere at the same time. So. That's right. So I guess what we wanted to do is start talking about, and maybe I should have got Mich had Micheletti come on today about the wild. Wild game last night. Wild one. Didn't look so good the first game. No. Actually, they got beat up. I think that's the big thing is that when you look at some of those guys from St. Louis, and they, they, they look like football players. Mm -hmm. But uh, thankfully, the wild came back, played their game last night. Started shooting the puck on the net, which they didn't do the first game, and uh, fortunately came out with a mm -hmm. six to two win. So, well, and, and what did <laughs> I? I I don't know if I mentioned this to Micheletti or not, or I, I know I mentioned it to you, but it was it was like the reasons why I thought they were going to lose the series is because they would take undisciplined penalties, yeah, which they did the first game, which they did. Yes, they did it last night too. I don't know how many. I haven't watched the whole game yet, so I don't know how many they took. I know they had one in the first period. Yeah. But I'll, I'll see when I watch the rest of the game today. But uh, they were, they gave up two power play goals, so they were like two for four on the penalty kill, which was going to make them lose the series. Yep. And then they were 0 for six. Especially when St. Louis, play. last night, their, their power play is 57% they score. So that's, that's pretty good. Well, they've scored 60-some goals, I think, during the year on the yep. power play, which is by far more than the Wild scored. Right. They gave they gave up less goals on the penalty kill than the Wild, yeah. and uh, yeah, and, I mean it, it came to a head I guess when Spurgeon tried to break the, the ankle of that oh, one, yeah. one guy when he was kneeling on the ice. I hate to say it that way, but he got fined five grand, which is probably what one fifth of his check anyway right. so it's probably not that much fans money. will send the money and like yeah. the other one so but, but i what i didn't understand and i know you haven't watched the full game and maybe ron can answer this i thought erickson eck had a hat trick because they covered the they covered the ice with with hats and then it turned out he didn't have the hat trick but kaprizov got a hat, hat trick, trick. Yeah, well, I, from what I understand and looking at Twitter mm -hmm. this morning, is Eric Zanek did score, but Felino was like did ten yards it? offside. Oh, so the oh, goal so didn't the count. Oh, yeah, oh, so okay. the goal didn't count. Like somebody said, he was in Chaska. Oh, <laughs> by the time he, by the time the puck got over, down in the corner. Yeah, or he was in Wyoming, <laughs> up yeah. by you know just north of the cities. Yeah. He was in Wyoming, but before the puck crossed mm -hmm. the blue line. So okay. that's why that's, that's why they took it away. Yeah, okay. so he was yeah. But yeah, Kaprizov had to step up. He had only had three points in his previous playoff games, yeah. and uh, now he kind of doubled. Well, got five last night, I think. Really? Yeah, Two assists and three goals. That. Yeah, so <clears throat> and X scored twice, and I think uh, Goudreau got the goal last yeah. night. And but, then Ron mentioned the surprises. Andre Fleur is our goalie. Well, yeah, I don't. They didn't trade for him to not play him in the playoffs. Right. You know, and that's not coming down or me, you know. It is kind of, but but Everson didn't think that any of the four goals that first night were his fault. It was all, you know, guess who was absent from the lineup last night? Oh, for the Blues? No, for the Wild. Wild. Who? Kulikov. Oh, was he? Didn't play. Well, well, oh, he, he got smacked there in that first game. Well, yeah, no, he's the one that was on the ice for like for the goal. all those goals. 
<laughs> okay. So Goligoski got put back in, and Goligoski has playoff cred. I think he's won a Stanley Cup, yeah. and so I don't. Who knows what's going to happen there now? I mean, but I want to take it. Here's what I want, and maybe we've talked about this before, but you know, I, I'll, Kevin Gorg and Anthony Lapanta, and what's that female one? No, we're not talking about that. Marty right Gilmer? Now. No, no, no. The one you want to get rid and of? Ryan Carter. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, see, you brought it up. <laughs> All year long, special season, special team, the fans are what drive the wild. Okay. Okay. When's the last time a fan scored a goal for the wild? <laughs> Good point. Good. Am I am I right or wrong? No, it's a good point. There yeah. Go. See, the fans have nothing. I'm sorry. I don't. I disagree with all of them there. That the fans have nothing to do. Well, I think they have. If when when you're playing well and you got the fans behind you, it gets you a little extra adrenaline. <laughs> you know. I mean, I can't afford it. But if somebody wants to pay three hundred dollars and yell and scream for a seat at a wild game. You know that's that's supporting the team because you're paying the guys payroll. Well, right. and I don't, and I yeah, that I don't. I'm you know it's nice but, to have home ice. I'm not saying yeah, that. But the yelling and screaming is that going to produce a goal? Not really. No. And if our fans were so great, what about Viking fans? How many Super Bowls have we won because of our fans? None. None. It's the TV fans. It's the TV, TV fans, fans that makes yeah. it. I'm glad he woke up and threw that one. Yeah, out. yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for that insight. <laughs> How many broken TVs are there out so, there for fans? That, if, if our fans were that great, the Vikings would probably have won four or five Super Bowls because they say we have the best fans in the NFL. We're the loudest fans. In well, yeah. So Because we pay, play in a dome. But when's the last time a fan scored a touchdown in a big game or – Kick the field goal in a big game, or yeah, right. yeah, yeah, I can't argue that point with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean the the wolves we we've, we've had so much negativity over the yeah. years doesn't matter. This year they had a big fan base. They were they were good fans, but yeah. they had a twenty five point lead. And you don't think that if you have a, 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 a fan supporting you that you don't play better? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I think you do. Well. I think you pay sometimes, and even like on the college level, if you got really raucous fans going, you're gonna you're gonna pick up your game, and you're gonna be a little more enthusiastic about playing that game. And I think that maybe that's part of it. Well, uh, they probably do pick up their enthusiasm, but did they score a goal on no. Monday? What about during COVID when there was no fans? How did they play then? It's probably just the same way. Very quietly. Yeah, quietly, but they played the same way. I mean, you could, I, you could hear them swearing at one another. Yeah, <laughs> that was the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> Everything was ampl all this noise was yeah. amplified because there was no fans. And I'm not saying the fans are useless, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I, there goes the readership. <laughs> yeah, there we go. But uh, hey, again, when's the last fan that scored a touchdown for the Vikings in a big game, and when's the fan that scored a goal for the Wild in a big game? Same time, the last fan that scored a home run for the Twins. Yeah, there. Oh, so. that's Sano. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of it, but Segway. good for the Wild. Uh, now they go to St. Louis. They're going to have to steal one there. Yep. And they play fr Friday? Friday and Sunday. Yep. So hopefully they get one and uh, yep. bring it back and then make it a best of three. And They're sure getting a lot of national exposure, though. Yeah, they yeah. are. So. Okay, the Twins. Twins, um, hey, Sano's out. So that torn meniscus, evidently yeah. surgery. Our friend Tom Tinder won't have anything to write about him. No, he can't. He can't. But you know, they brought up Jose Miranda from uh, must have been St. Paul, I would imagine. And I don't know if he came up that he just drove over the bridge there from well, St. Paul. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, uh, where are they? They're in uh, St. Paul. Yeah, but where are they playing right now? The Twins. Yeah, they can't even remember. Boy, I'm getting. Oh, they're playing in Baltimore, so he had to fly to Baltimore. A lot of people forget about Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, but uh, well, we'll get the fan base on that one now. I don't think he's. I don't. He's. He's got his first major league hit the other day, a double and an RBI, his first RBI. And I think every time I've seen him hit or at bat, he's uh, hit the ball. Yeah. No, he's only got the one hit in the two games or three games, but 
If he, but if he hasn't struck out yet, uh, yeah, you know. Did you see the highlight the other day? Was, I, I think it was Arizona or somewhere. The kid hit his first home run, and it bounced off the seat and came back onto the field. The opposite player took the ball and threw it into the lake or into the pond. The oh, pool. really? <laughs> oh, that's not right. <laughs> yeah. That's we got the, it. I mean, they got well, it. Well, I'm the, sure, but you don't the, want a waterlogged ball. Forum. I mean, that's, no, that was awful. Anyways. I sorry. saw they did that. What Some guy did get his first something. I can't remember who, what game it was or if it was a Twins game or whatever, but they, uh, they did, they have like a, uh, guy that sits down by the field that's an authenticator and they bring the ball over there and they authenticate it okay. right there so these guys have so they can't say well yeah that's a fake ball yeah. that didn't happen with that no numbers on them well i don't know what he did with it but they did have an authenticator mm -hmm. there but you know maybe you know rumors on twitter are that if miranda comes up and has any kind of um stint snow could be gone which I would feel bad about, but, you know. Yeah, for about a day. Well, he's going to go somewhere else. He's going to hit 35 home runs. And, but I would trade him, if I were the Twins, I'd trade him to Oakland for that Mania, they're, they're, for that pitcher. They're afraid to trade him because they think he's going to come back like Big Papa did and, and turn into a all-star. Yeah. I don't see that. Well, yeah, I don't think he's Big Pappy. No. Not not in the least. Big poo poo. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. He he. I don't think he'll ever hit three hundred because no. Ortiz hit would hit well over three hundred in his career. So, I watched. Um, just being a baseball, just to throw it out there last night. Billy Ball, Billy Bean, Billy Ball, whatever they call it, was mm -hmm. on last night. Pretty interesting movie. How uh, they oh. the Oakland A's and Moneyball or Moneyball. Yeah, it's. Uh, is he, I don't know. Is he still in baseball? I don't know if he's running the A's still or not. Oh, okay. He but might be there still. Better end, but the one thing they don't tell you, when they went on their 28-game winning streak, who's the team that beat them? Well, no, that was, wait, maybe it was the Twins. But the Twins beat them in the playoffs. That was, yeah. That was so the, that was, yeah, yeah, the Twins were the team that eliminated them. Eliminated them, the beat them there after their 28-game winning streak. Well, you know, the other interesting thing, while well, we're running out of time, I guess we'll get to okay. it. Maybe we can talk about it next week. Yeah, but be quick talking about all these non-essential things. Yeah, well, okay, that's cool. all right. But uh, well, I guess we'll just say I we're, we're ha hope you enjoyed today's show. I'm sorry I got on the fans of Minnesota sports fans, but uh, that's the way I feel. Send all those cards and letters to Gary G. Yeah. Betty. So uh, for Mike Egan, <laughs> I'm Gary G. Betty. We'll see you again next week. Hibbing Public Access Television would like to thank U.S. Bank for providing us with studio space.